I'm gonna break my back if I do any more takes. This Mac Pro from 2009 just doesn't have enough AI slop loaded onto it that makes its eight cores seem like two cores. We're installing Windows 11. Well, this flash drive doesn't have Windows 11 on it because I'm a good YouTuber that actually prepares for their videos. So I'd actually press stop recording, but right now we're downloading Windows 11 ISO. So yeah, oh my God, it'll take 16 minutes to download. While this downloads, we're also gonna download Rufus. Okay, so the flash drive is ready. We gotta wait 10 minutes for this thing to download. So Windows 11 is done downloading, so we're gonna open Rufus. This USB drive has macOS Sequoia on it because yes, I tried doing that. I had USB issues, so I'm gonna postpone that video till who knows when. I'm gonna, I'm gonna volume latable, uh, subscribe. Create a local account with username, subscribe, by the way, yeah. And uh, disable data collection, uh, all right. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna just set every single one of them. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, just just works copying iso files so uh that's gonna take a bit and it's done i just wanted to boot and work first try i bet that's not gonna happen all right i switch over to my other monitor and now i'm gonna boot up the mac pro hopefully this works i also moved my keyboard and mouse over to the uh to the mac pro all right so y'all might be a little confused right now on why we have the boots didn't you put a 750 ti in this computer how do I, how do you have the boot screen i put the gt120 back in there yep that's how i did it efi boot will this work <gasps> wait wait <laughs> Is this actually gonna work first try? I don't see the Windows loading bar thing down there. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, oh, holy shit. It's actually booted. Damn it. Oh my God. K mode exception not handled. That's the stop code. Let me Google it. Okay, so I thought the K mode exception not handled was caused by Windows 11 24H2 and its requirement of SSE 4.2. But I googled, and this thing's processor, the Intel Xeon E5520, it, it does support SSD 4.2. And yes, YouTube comments, I know I could upgrade this thing to a dual X5675 and have 12 cores instead of 8. I'm too lazy to. I might try to install Windows 11 23H2 on it instead of 24H2. Maybe, just maybe, it is caused by the fact that I'm trying to install the latest, latest version of Windows 11. I used to run Windows 11 23H2 on my main computer. But wait a minute, Windows 11 23H2. It does not have AI slot. I'll still do it anyway, I don't care. I just said AI slot for the joke in the start of the video. I'm gonna try to install 23H2 on this thing. Yo, guess what? I didn't have to install Windows 11 23H2 after all. What I did was I switched the place of the USB drive. I moved it from the top front panel USB port to the bottom front panel USB port and it worked. Don't ask me how it worked. I have no clue. Install Windows 11. We're getting a few things ready. They actually changed the setup wizard, which is weird because I think the setup wizard stayed the same since Windows 8. Like Windows 8, 10, and older versions of Windows 11 had the same setup wizard. Uh, Windows 11 Pro. We're gonna download Windows 11 Pro. We're gonna accept the license terms. I don't really care. After this, we're gonna pull out the GT120 that's in this computer, and we're gonna like put the GTX 750 Ti in there. Choose where to install windows 11 and uh yeah disk zero partition one we're gonna delete the partition okay there we go unallocated space yep this is totally different than the windows install i'm used to ready install you won't be able to use your pc okay install windows 11 pro and keep nothing holy crap is this actually gonna work installing windows 11 yo wait it, re it rebooted hopefully I don't, know. I don't know what it's supposed to be doing right now, but it re rebooted. I do not know what it's booting to right now. I don't know if it's booting to the SSD or to... Kernel security check failure. Just when I thought everything was going well. Let me remove this flash drive. Let me check if, if it's an issue with like the fact that we tried to boot the flash drive again. And just in case, just in case, I'm gonna boot to the SSD. I'm gonna like get the boot switcher up in here. EFI boot. Kernel security check failure. Fuck my life. Kernel security check failure signs a serious issue with the core components of your OS kernel. Common cause behind this error could be corrupt files, incompatible drivers, hardware issue, or third party software conflict. It could be the first two. It could be corrupt files or incompatible drivers. To be fair, I did not use Apple's bootcamp to install this. I just used a flash drive I made on Rufus. So I'll try installing it again. Insert the USB drive and try again. 
We're back at this again. Lovely. I'm going to plug the USB drive in the back of the computer. I'm not I'm not going to try any front panel nonsense anymore. Why why did it turn on? Uh, I turned you off. I turned you off. Why did you turn on again? All right, I plugged in the USB drive to the back ports on the Mac Pro. I did not bother with the front ports, even though I do not know why this would be causing an issue. I'm just trying anything at this point. Let's go. Okay, EFI boot. I, if this blue screens again, I'm gonna install 23H2. Probably the AI slot that's making it refuse to boot. Pain. I guess I'm gonna install 23H2 on this flash drive. All right, so I installed Windows 11 23H2 on the flash drive, and I booted up the Mac Pro to the flash drive in like, just basically like, oh, I'm gonna boot it up, and I'm gonna start recording after I boot it up, and they were gonna go through the install process. Uh, no, it didn't do that. It just started installing. It just, it, it booted up, and it, I was like, installing. I was like, what, wait, 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 what, what? Hopefully nothing goes wrong, because we're gonna be installing Steam and playing stuff that's not Roblox and Minecraft. Okay, we're gonna be playing Minecraft, but we're gonna be playing, wait, what? Yo, yo, there's a cursor. There is a cursor. This Mac Pro is officially more up to date than my main computer, which is on Windows 10 and Arch Linux. But right now I'm using Windows 10 so I can record audio. I hope this boots up. Oh my God. What do you mean? Kernel check security fix. I'm gonna do a fucking PRAM reset, bruh. I'm holding command option PR right now, which performs a PRAM reset. I think a PRAM reset is the equivalent of a CMOS reset on Mac. Hopefully this fixes it. Oh my God. I have no idea what, what, what to do. Maybe it didn't install 23H2 and it's still on 24H2. I just realized I never formatted the SSD, what? It's detecting nothing with the SSD. This is weird. Yeah, maybe just booting to the SSD, which is obviously broken. Wait, what? Oh wait, that's what it did last time. Just a moment. Wait, will this actually work after boot rebooting six times? No way this will actually work. What the fuck? How did this work? How did it fix itself? I literally just, it just kept restarting. Ethernet, uh, Ethernet installed driver. This whole thing is just so weird. What on earth? Right now we have the GT120 in there as well. So we're gonna have to swap that out with the 750Ti. And at least it will show us that it blue screened. This might take a few minutes. Don't turn off your PC. You don't blue screen and I will not turn you off. How did this fucking work? There, wh why did this work? How did this work? What? I can't right- Oh no, I can right click. It's just so slow. Video driver, which is fine. I'm gonna shut this thing down, which uh, I'm gonna shut this thing down and I'm gonna put the 750 Ti in there. Ironically, the 750 Ti is right under my monitor. All right, so I put the 750 Ti in there on its own without the GT120 and the Mac kept boot looping. So I put the GT120 in there alongside the 750 Ti so I can see if it went back to the blue screen issue, which I'm thinking it did. Preparing automatic repair. Oh yeah, I did boot loop five times. So yep, automatic repair, kind of a like, yeah, oh, it makes sense, Microsoft. K mode exception not handled where why are we back to square one that was literally the first error we faced in the video oh my god this is windows 11 23 h2 right now hopefully this works please there we go we're in the normal windows install that i'm used to maybe this this one works better all right so we're gonna download windows 11 pro look the fact that this thing booted up first try it, it's good it's a good sign it seems like it like, it seems like we're going in a good direction. Windows needs to restart. I was not going insane. There was a thing which said Windows 11 on volume three or Windows 11 on volume three. I'm probably gonna choose Windows 11 on volume three. Yo, just a moment. We were there just a moment ago. Then the computer refused to boot up. Can we remove the GT120 and it like doesn't fail? You know, I have a theory. Windows 11 24H2 planned obsolescence. Wow, well, the Windows 11 set up again. Let's go. Yeah, I do not have internet and hopefully it doesn't fail and hopefully we can remove the GT120 because I don't want any bottleneck. We're gonna play even more games that we can play on Mac OS. Let's go. First things first, we're gonna open device manager. If our GTX 750 Ti, okay, yes. It's detecting two like displays right now. I can remove the GT120 and I can run it with the 750 Ti. Okay, the 750 Ti does not work yet. I do not know why. 
I have no idea how I'm gonna get this thing's drivers. So, um... All right, so I put this thing's drivers that I found online. It's not like through Apple or anything. I just found it on the internet and I found, I put them on a flash drive. Actually, the same flash drive I used to install this. I had to format it. it. Says it goes up to Windows 10, but Windows 11 at its core is still Windows 10. So I think Windows 10 drivers will still work. I don't see why Windows 10 drivers wouldn't work. I think that's why like all these installing Windows 11 on like ancient hardware things like actually kind of work. When you bypass all the dumbass requirements that Microsoft puts, put Windows 11 on any x86 machine with a pulse. I didn't even know why I went with the audio driver first. I should I should have gone with the ethernet driver so I can download video drivers. I am sure that these are the correct drivers mainly because like they do look like from the like they look like they're from the time period. What? Can't not install drivers. No Intel. N Wait. What do you mean no Intel? I am dumb. This whole time I was not connected to ethernet. There were drivers. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. Let's go, I got ethernet. So everything I did was for nothing. Let's go, I love. We're gonna download Firefox. That's the first thing we gotta do. Yeah, download Firefox. Hopefully now the 750 Ti works. Will it be detected device manager? GeForce 9500 GT. Oh my God, Windows update. I swear if it installs 24H2 and it breaks this, it's boot looping now it's uh it, it boot looped for a second and now it's um on automatic repair it didn't blue screen though it didn't blue screen it just boot looped so i don't know i don't know what's going on your pc didn't start properly press restart to restart your pc which can sometimes be the problem exit to windows 11. usually that just works for some reason yeah, I reinstalled Windows 11 23H2. I forgot to block Windows updates, but it doesn't matter because right now I installed the 750Ti drivers and everything's working. I took the GT120 out. It's actually, it's actually right here. The GT120 is actually out finally. Yeah, I installed games on it. I installed Steam and through Steam, I installed Deltarune, Hello Neighbor Alpha 3, Ultra Kill, and Celeste. But also I downloaded Minecraft because that's something I gotta do every video. Oh, I forgot to set the settings. Uh, so in Skyblock, lobby one wait no that's not lobby one i am getting about wait 12 17 fps is it a bit fuller i think it was just a bit fuller i mean i think like last time it was empty uh i'm getting about the same there is probably slightly more going on here than in last video in skyblock lobby one i mean skyblock lobby one is not the benchmark it used to be there used to be like, like tens of players just standing here opening presents that would destroy everyone's fps like it used to be the ultimate benchmark for like computers but now it's like nothing let's play duels and now yep we're reaching 240 3, 304 235 I think that's better than what we had in duels last time. I only checked Skyblock Lobby 1. Like, yet again, I am playing with half my screen covered up by a phone, so... And a microphone this time. Yeah, do you notice that the audio quality is better this time? Yeah, I'm no longer using my phone microphone. I'm back to using the big microphone. Last time, I also tried Roblox, so I think it's only fair that this time I also try Roblox. I think I forgot to download Roblox, so let me download Roblox. This computer feels like slow, it, like it feels slightly slower than what I'm used to, but that's maybe, maybe it's because of the SATA 2 interface. Like my main computer, this one is booted off NVMe. Yeah, I'm using the computer to record audio right now. Right now I'm booted off SATA 2, SATA 2 SSD. I think my internet's slightly slower than the last time I did this, so this is probably caused by my internet, like the fact that the assets are not loading. Last time I played Speedrun 4 on Mac OS, it had weird shadows, it had weird artifacts. It was playable, but it had weird artifacts. I even mentioned that downloading Windows may may help that. And as you can see, it's it's helping pretty damn fine. Like it's actually working pretty well. Okay, so now we're done with the games that we played before and we could say with confidence that they run slightly better on Windows. Like I did not change anything about the configuration of this computer. Maybe if I was on an AMD GPU, it would it'll be pretty neck and neck because it would it would be using proper drivers, not weird hacked in NVIDIA web drivers from OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Now we're gonna be going on to the Windows exclusive part. So we're gonna start with Ultra Kill. Ultra Kill, system V1 initialize. Yep, it carried my save over. So it's running pretty well right now. It's like, it's like, it's not slow. It's not dropping frames. Well, maybe when we see Gabriel, it will actually start dropping frame. Okay, maybe this time. Okay, no, 
I actually feel like it ran better when Gabriel appeared. Also, I have no no audio cues, so um, yeah, I'm probably gonna die. I'm probably gonna die because I have no audio cues, and that's how like I somewhat get past this fight. Okay, well I died, but you get you get the gist. So I got I got past face like I got past phase one. I died, but like this game actually runs really really well. It, like. I mean, Ultra Kill is a pretty lightweight game. Hello Neighbor Alpha 3. That's actually a game I struggled with on low-end hardware. Like, I remember playing this game back when it was popular in 2016 on my 2012 Asus laptop, and I had to turn everything down to minimum. Visual, the following components are required to run this program. My, my, Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 runtime. Yeah, install it. Just, just install anything, install anything. Yes, Unreal Engine 4 prerequisites. Yes, download. Micro All right, so this thing looks like it's gonna take forever. So while it downloads, I'm gonna play Deltarune. It's a 2D game. There's no way this thing will run poorly. It's just, it's. I, I bet this game would have run like fine under macOS Monterey with the hacked in Nvidia web drivers. I would have even, I would even think this game would run fine without the Nvidia web drivers. Like in the, like I could run this thing on a Pentium 4. Probably, I don't know. I know I'm not playing the new chapters. I know I'm now I'm playing chapter one because chapter one is basically hold left. Will we do three turn Lancer on the 2009 Mac Pro? Will it happen? Let's see. Nope, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Wait, what? It's opening. As the Windows game bar. Yup, it's running at 16 FPS on its max settings. Yes. That's what I was expecting out of this GTX 750 Ti. Okay, if a GTX 750 Ti is getting 60 FPS, how would that GT120 handle this? Bruh, how will this actually like be a thing? Okay, I can't. I have to actually turn this down. Now it's actually running pretty darn well. So, um, the strat you just saw me pull where I get the uh, chair from behind the door, that's exactly why I wanted to play Alpha 3 specifically because I just really enjoy doing that. So yeah, right now I'm just gonna get into that basement so we can end off this video. How could a wimpy, oh, 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 yes, yes. That was not optimal at all, but we did it. We played Hello Neighbor Alpha 3. A $75 Mac Pro with a GTX 750 Ti, if you can find it for free somewhere, it makes a pretty decent gaming computer. If you, you can totally get, do better. I got the 750 Ti for free. You could get like a 1650 for it. For like about 200 bucks, this computer can make a pretty decent gaming PC. And as I said, with better luck than me setting stuff up on this thing, thank y'all very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.